What's going on everybody? Kenan here and it is time for another Ask Camp Kenan question. And this one comes from Sarah Shepard. Sarah asks me this. Hey Kenan, a few questions about keeping female tortoises. Do they lay eggs if they are not bred? How common and serious is the incidence of egg binding? And lastly, should novice tortoise owners avoid owning females for this reason? All right, thank you so much, Sarah, for uh, helping us out with these questions. Great question. Here is one of my females. This is Darwin, as you guys may or may not know. Uh, Darwin does not have a male galop in here with her. And uh, well, you asked a good question. Sometimes I have seen my female tortoises lay infertile eggs, but usually they're laying them uh, as practice. Um, they will always develop egg follicles. Whether or not those follicles get reabsorbed by the body or, uh, or they go ahead and form a shell is actually, you know, that's up to the tortoise's physiology, to be honest. So I've only seen it one time with a younger sulcata. She laid eggs, had never been with a male. Uh, and of course, those, those eggs were actually not fertile. Okay, and they were also small and underdeveloped. I think that's a good thing because it's getting their reproductive system ready. It's kind of like tortoise puberty, if you will. Um, their body is making sure it's capable of doing what it's got to do uh, to further the species and produce eggs. So like I was saying, sometimes they'll, they'll have egg follicles, uh, but they'll get reabsorbed into the body. And the reproductive system of the female tortoise is pretty amazing. Here's some cherry heads uh, these two males were reproducing, but I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, anyhow, these guys uh, over here, I wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone because we're talking about eggs. And I'm pretty sure, there's the nest. Here it is right here, folks. I'm pretty sure we got a nest here. So as I was saying, um, what'll happen is they'll reabsorb the, look at this cap. Isn't this amazing? They, they make a cap when they urinate on, on the uh, mud, and that really forms a nice seal. So we're gonna keep digging, and here it is. Look at this, up, 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 what do you got? What do you know? We got some eggs, people. One, two, oh, this is a big clutch. Three, four, four eggs. Usually they lay about two to three, as far as cherry heads are concerned, but that's pretty good score, huh? We got some cherry head eggs. So while I'm answering questions about eggs, we're digging eggs up. And these little guys are doing awesome. I keep getting sidetracked. I apologize. I'm trying to do uh, a bunch of work out here at the camp while answering your questions, Sarah. Hope you guys don't mind my prattling on. But anyhow, so they'll form egg follicles. They may not necessarily form eggs completely and they'll reabsorb them. Now I was also talking about how incredible the reproductive system of these tortoises are. Take desert tortoises or the sulcata tortoise. Um, many tortoise species will in fact store sperm. And that's pretty incredible. They can actually store sperm uh, so that if you're living in the desert and you're a tortoise, right? You may not come uh, in contact with another tortoise too often. So what'll happen is they breed once and that female will keep the sperm alive inside her ovary she'll feed it she'll keep it alive and she'll release certain amounts of sperm every time she ovulates here's some leopard tortoises these guys are doing very well um, so anyhow she'll release the sperm and fertilize some eggs now the the way that that goes is it's not necessarily a a high fertilization rate with the eggs but it's still a pretty incredible adaptation uh, that these animals have come up with to continue having uh, you know, viable eggs after one mating. And they can go on for about four years with viable eggs from one actual mating instance. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, another really random thing about tortoises is they may actually have sperm from more than one male. So check this out. She can release sperm from one male, let's call him Harry, she can also lay sperm from another male she bred with because she stores that sperm as well. So she can have one clutch of eggs that have two different fathers. Is that incredible? So it's possible that the diversity in the DNA there is uh, just impressive. So that's really, really cool stuff. Um, 
I, I learned that not too long ago, and I think that's a pretty uh, remarkable adaptation that those animals have. So anyhow, okay, cool. Now we're talking about, oh, uh, what was the second part of your question? Oh my gosh, I forgot. What's the second part of that question? These multi-questions, they kind of get me sometimes. So the second part, I believe, is about being egg-bound. Now, you don't want your tortoise to get egg-bound. Um, that's a problem, of course. Uh, so what I would do is, if you're keeping them indoors, make sure that they have an area. Here's this crazy iguana. He went inside. He's fast. I'm faster. Anyway, um, they, you want to make sure that there's deep enough substrate and that the substrate is kind of the right consistency and humidity that the tortoises like when it comes to them going ahead and uh, laying their eggs. If they do not have the right depth, consistency, and humidity, they may not lay. And that could be a problem, obviously, because they'll then become egg bound. Give me a second, I'm gonna open this door. Okay, now we're gonna shut the door, because we got the AC on. That costs a lot of money. So you guys are just gonna sit right there for a second. Don't move. Let's shut this door. Okay, cool. So it's very important to make sure that the environmental needs are met for the tortoise when it comes to actually being able to, um, you know, lay their eggs. If not, they become egg bound. And sometimes you can get lucky and go to the vet and they'll give you something called, uh, they'll x-ray the animal, see if there are eggs in there. Uh, but what they'll then do is give you a shot of the hormone oxytocin. And oxytocin is a hormone that tells the body it's time to get the eggs out. If that does not work, you may have to surgically remove the eggs. Um, and you know, that's what you want to have happen. Just like an impaction or anything else, being egg bound is a problem. The animal will get lethargic, the animal won't move. Um, but to answer your third question, as far as novices owning females, luckily this does not happen often. Um, I would also take care not to have too small a female in with a larger male that's trying to breed it. It may somehow cause the female to produce eggs. I don't know if that's 100% true. It's an anecdotal thing, which means this is not scientifically proven stuff. This is just a story that I'm giving you of my own experience. Uh, you don't want that to happen because if you uh, do that, then that's, if her body is not physically able to expel the eggs, she's not large enough, then of course she could become egg bound as well. So uh, let me turn on the lights here for you. Um, some of you may be wondering, Ken, you're rolling these eggs around, what are you doing? Um, these eggs were laid last night, that's how I knew to go look for them and why I thought it was a very cool subject for today's Ask Cam Kennan. We're filling up this incubator. Uh, there, of course, is Zeus, uh, a former male sulcata that I had. And what I'm gonna do now is quite simply, I've got these all set up, okay? I've got the egg, the egg bins all set up. Come on down here, I'll show you. Here it is, we're gonna tilt you guys down. It's very difficult to do this show uh, as one person, but there it is. So um, what I'm doing now is quite simply, I'm just gonna place these guys in here. I'm not dating them, I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, they will not be disturbed again once they go in. Clamp that down. So uh, this is true of all egg laying reptiles. Being egg bound is a problem, it happens also. In fact, I actually had that problem with one of my lizards, Azul, and that's what caused her to pass away. Um, she did not, for some reason, she was not liking where I had uh, her options for laying eggs. So she held on to them for a long time and then finally did get the eggs out. Unfortunately, because she was so filled, her body cavity was so filled with eggs, she uh, ruptured uh, some fat bodies in her body and they, they prolapsed or came out of her cloaca. Now, unfortunately, there was nothing that I could do for her, so I had to humanely euthanize her. But here, folks, are the rhino iguana eggs that I dug up last month. I can't believe it, but all of these eggs look good. If I get 100% hatch rate out of these guys, it would be the first time I ever had that happen. Um, very, very pleased. They're looking nice. There's no mold on them. Uh, so we've got the right uh, parameters for these eggs to incubate in. And I'm doing this with one hand. Oh gosh, it's such a pain in the neck. I'm gonna have to come back after the video's over and just 
put this back on properly, but I like to keep this paper towel on because the paper towel actually lets me know that it's the right humidity because of the pliability in that towel and also it catches any of the droplets that might fall on the eggshell itself. So there you have it, a question answered, Sarah. I hope it makes sense. I would not be deterred from owning a female tortoise. They're great. We love the girls. All right, so uh, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I uh, hope you guys will support the channel. All you gotta do is hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button as well. And if you really wanna help us out, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan, where you guys can help us continue to make fun educational videos about reptiles and how to keep them, and how to keep them healthy. All right, everyone, that's it. I'm Kennan, it's a nice day. I'm gonna go ahead and relax, but uh, why don't we do something different here? I'm just gonna send you guys out with some fish. We'll see you later. They lay eggs too.